kind of a foggy and spooky morning today. Ooh, maybe not. It's clearing up now that I said that. <laughs> Monday morning. We're going to America again. We have a load waiting for us in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. We're going to go pick it up. We're going to bring it back here. Hello there, old girl. Hope you had a good weekend. It's time to go start her up. Warm her up. She's taking me to Minnesota today. Yeah. You guys ever have this problem too? Every vehicle I ever own, the, the spring that sucks the seatbelt back in goes bad or something and the seatbelt never wants to go back. It's just me. Okay, it's Monday morning. Who cares? Let's get all our stuff in there. Let's check the oil. Let's uh, let's get at it. I could have taken diesel with me today, but uh, I decided not to. Not today yet. To an empty step deck. We're gonna do our pre trip on it and make sure everything's good to go. So, what I've done here is I've just attached a little, you put that anywhere on there, tarp strap from there to here, just hooked it in. I turned on all the lights, the hazards. The reason why I put that uh, strap on there is to check both lines here. So, we have the emergency line open. Trailer brakes have been released, so we have air flowing through here. We want to make sure that there's no air coming out of that joint right there, those O-rings. When you pull down the trailer brakes, like I have with that uh, tarp strap there, the air flows through this blue one. You want to make sure that there's no air leaking out there as well. So we're good. So there's air flowing through both of those right now. Also, by having that handbrake spiked for the trailer it also uh, turns on the brake lights just going back here making sure all the tires are filled with air that we have no flats so when you come to the back of your trailer you can check and make sure your brake lights are working and your hazards are on to make sure your signals are working on both sides and when the signal turns off obviously you can see that the tail lights are working as well so that's good three center lights are working just quickly make sure that the license plate lights working that just makes it a lot easier then you don't have to go back and forth all the time you can also check back here make sure that there's no leaks on the brakes trailer bags are filling with air that's good so all the lights are working on this trailer and the brakes airlines everything's good so we're good to go we're gonna pull this down to Thief River Falls.
bunch of these green boxes on my trailer behind me. Snow machines. Guess everybody's getting ready for winter already. It's that time of year again. Canadian Pacific. We're still here in the US. I guess that train's waiting for clearance to cross back into Canada. We're on our way back. We're headed north right now. I've noticed that uh, on my phone, this is the first phone I've ever had that uh, has local time and my home time. So they're both exactly the same. It's 224 here and at home because I live straight north of here. That would have been handy when I was over the road. I don't know if that's a setting that's on my phone. I have a Samsung uh, Galaxy S20 Plus. So I'm not sure if that's a setting or if it just comes like that naturally or, or naturally <laughs> from the, you, you know what I mean. So I'm crossing back into Canada at Tolstoy, which is a little different for me. There's a lot of trucks going down here though. So usually I'd head out this way to cross at Emerson, Manitoba, but now we're crossing at Tolstoy, Manitoba from Lancaster, Minnesota. Usually you can't cross here. But for some reason, with these green boxes, I can. But if they're different boxes, I can't. They must have some kind of agreement or something. I had to have different paperwork and everything, special paperwork to, to get us to be able to cross here. But they are waiting for me there and expecting me. I'm gonna bring this load up to the yard and that'll be it for today. I got a little bit of a later start. Because of this different kind of border crossing, I had to have different paperwork in the morning. And uh, it's the first time I've done this. So I had to have specific paperwork and the dispatcher that was supposed to give it to me this morning didn't come in. I don't know if he didn't feel, uh, he, he might not have felt well this morning, probably stayed home because he was sick. And uh, anyways, a little bit of confusion. So I didn't get out of there uh, till probably, oh, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I wanted to be out of there before seven. So had I gotten going at the time I wanted to, I would have been back at the yard already. I might have even been able to go get a second load, but this will be the only one I do today. And tomorrow we're headed up to Toulon. I'm just bringing this back to our yard and from there it'll be uh, taken on by another driver. That was an old truck, wow. Well, like an old GMC, wasn't it? They don't even make those anymore. Must be hard to find parts for those trucks already. Those trucks are old. And back on the Canadian side, that's kilometers an hour again. Not miles an hour. Got construction coming up here just inside the border. Today would have been a perfect day to take diesel along. I really wish I would have Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I know I'm going to Toulon, so it's not a really long trip tomorrow. Toulon is just like an hour, uh, hour north. But maybe, I asked in the office today just to be sure. <laughs> Before I took diesel with me, I wanted to be sure that uh, they didn't mind. And they said, oh no, take, take them with every day. They don't mind, they don't mind if I had diesel with me every day. I mean, I'll have a bed for them here. My bag then would be underneath there and this would all just be a big, big bed, right? So we could lay down and ah, we could go for a walk, get for lunch and stuff. See, I'll think about it tonight. See how Diesel feels about it. I'll ask him if he wants to go. I have a feeling I know what his answer is going to be, though. <laughs> if it were up to him, he'd be here right now. He's going to be so upset that I didn't take him today. All right, lights are off. That was it. Just a quick trip. 
up to or down to Thief River Falls and back. I guess it depends on where you live. I guess for the majority of you, probably uh, Thief River Falls is probably up on the map. For me, the United States is down. So you guys are south of us. So you're south of the border to me. I said that on uh, what was the, one of my videos last week. I said, oh, we're going south of the border. And I think like 90% of you thought I meant Mexico. <laughs> Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. And I thought it was funny All right, so I have decided something Do you want to know what I have decided? I've decided that tomorrow diesels coming on the truck with me I'm excited so we're gonna get his whole bed set up here. Well, it's all set up already right now I've just got my my backpack here with all my tools and stuff. It's got like you know like my folder and my water my coffee thermoses my tools here's my lunch kit i'm gonna have this bag these pillows are under here right now those pillows are gonna be up here so that uh, the pillars did i say pillars those pillows are gonna be up here so that diesel can lay on them and put a blanket across there as well and this bag is going to go under here that's why i built it like this i know it's uh not built the best i threw it together <laughs> It does the job. Maybe we'll make a better one in the future. Those were actually supposed to be pushed up against there, but I'm a truck driver. I'm not a carpenter. Okay. I whipped it together in, in an afternoon <laughs> and the whole time I thought that I'd be sent out on a load right away. So I was just quickly whipping it together so that if I, if I got a load assigned to me, I could quickly run out with it. Right. But whatever. And then he'll be up here. And uh, his water will probably be between the seats, I'm thinking. I'm going to figure it out tomorrow. Let's do a little bit of figuring out. We'll get to work a little early and see what happens. We'll see how this old trusty bed holds out. I'm excited. I'm going to bring his steps along too. And I remember I had those foldable steps that go on here. And uh, during the day, or when I don't need them, I'm going to strap them down onto there. I'm going to put those uh, corners in one of my bins here and I'm going to use that two inch strap to strap down diesel steps so that they're easy to get to and I can just quickly yoink them off of there fling them out here and he can go out and do his stuff should be good I'm excited diesel guess what guess what Tomorrow you're coming with me on the road, man. You're coming with me in the truck. Oh, oh, you would be so much more excited if you weren't hoping I'm gonna open this door right now and feed you. Are you hungry? Yeah, that's the one? Oh, he's guarding it, man. Yeah, the food's in there. That's my old man food right there. Right there. That's the one. This is Diesel's new uh, food that we're slowly moving him on to. Uh, Performatrin Senior, large breed formula. Uh, we had them on the grain free. Uh, we have it in there actually, because Chevy needs to be on the grain free. I think we've uh, explained this to you guys once already, right? Uh, Chevy has, we have to be very careful with him. He's got some allergies to grains, but since we had him on the grain free, we also had Diesel. It was just easier to throw on the same food. But the vet has told us now because of Diesel's heart murmur, uh, he really needs to have grains in his diet, that he shouldn't be on grain free food. It's not exactly as healthy as they market it to be. Some dogs need to be on grain free like Chevy. Other dogs, if they don't absolutely have to be on grain free, you should be giving them grains with their food. According to our vet, I'm not a vet, so we're gonna follow the advice on our vet to help him with his heart murmur. And hopefully get that fixed or at least prevent it from getting any worse. He's 10 years old now and I want him to live to be like 20, maybe 50. What do you say, Diesel, 50 years? You can do it, man. You can do it. Look at look at Big Frank. He's like a hundred years old. Man, you can do fifty. Thank you, Frank. You're doing pretty good for your age, Frank. I know, man. Chevy's four years old. Wiener is eleven. But I gotta feed these guys right now. It was just a short little day up to Thief River Falls. I should have brought Diesel today. Uh, a couple people even asked me, "Where's Diesel? Did you bring Diesel today?" Not today, but I should have. It would have been a perfect day for it. I was in the truck driving all day and just going for a long cruise. 
missed opportunity, but we're not going to miss tomorrow. So we'll see you right here on the channel and uh, be prepared for some trucking weasel. How about that? He's a lot more excited. When I when I told him before, he got really excited. You'll have to trust me. Right now, he's just hungry. And I'm taking a long time to open his food. At least he's being patient. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see more of the weasel. Diesel, you got to look less depressed than that when we say goodbye. What if I open your food? Yeah, that's the food you want right there, right? You guys hungry? You're all hungry? Why do you keep talking, man? I'm hungry. Okay. He'll be left. He may be retired, too. He'll be in uh, better spirits tomorrow. Right, Diesel? <laughs> we'll give you breakfast before we put you on camera, okay? That way you'll be ready for the day. <laughs> At least you're wagging your tail now. <laughs> See you later.